Hi there, okay, just before we get going on this, I just wanna sort of tell you about my course. If you wanna learn how to build 3D environments for games using 3D Studio Max, uh, Substance Painter, Unity, and learn a whole ton of stuff about the production pipeline of game environments, then use the link below in the description for a special discount YouTube rate. Go there now and um, sign up. Okay, so let's get started with this video. Hi there, okay, so for a new project that I'm working on, I've created this office chair, you can see here. Um, this is the low version, the low polygon version. And I want my model, when I finished it in game, or in the project that I'm working on, to look like this, but I don't want to use that many polygons. This is, you see here, 1700 triangles. This is 40,000 triangles. But you can see, if I turn off the edges, it looks super smooth and very cool at that resolution. Whereas this one looks a bit ropey around the edges and you can see that it's quite low polygon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one into Substance Painter and bake this to create my normal map onto this. That's the plan. And this one should then look like this. I've exported them already as FBX and I've called them uh, Office Chair Low and Office Chair High. And I've exported them as an FBX file. So let's go into Substance Painter and do just that. So here we are again in Substance Painter, uh, version 2018, which is very nice, very slick. New UI and new features, etc. So let's bring in Let's bring in the low version. Let's make that 2048. Uh, metallic roughness, direct depth. Yep, that's cool. Select office chair low. Okay. Boom. And there it is. That's the low version, and you can see it's pretty low. In fact, let's turn on wireframe. I think, and you can see it's the low version. <clears throat> right there okay so what we're going to do now is turn that off and we're going to bake down our texture set um, let's add ambient occlusion as always and uh, bake mesh maps here don't need to I, well I will do I'll, when I do this for real I'll need an ID, but I might do it separately after this. Yeah, I'll do it separately. Um, so I don't really need it now. Turn that off. But what I need to do here is select high definition meshes, my high version, office chair high. Boom. Like that, and make sure it's in that slot there. And 48, input size, not that it matters at this point in time. Let's just leave everything as it is and bake office chair. And immediately <laughs> you can see it has made a difference. Let's just wait for it to finish. And there it is. It's worked quite well. There's some, uh, there's a few anomalies, but I think we can get away with that. That looks really good. That looks fantastic, in fact. And just to show you, remember, remember what that looks like. If I nip back into 3D Studio, that's what high definition model looks like. That's the low one. That's the low one, looking like the high one. I mean, you can see down, down here on the runs, looks fantastic. Let's just switch on um, wireframe, just to show you, it's the low version still. 
what's happened here is that we've baked we've used the high definition um, model and baked the normal onto the low definition model you can see that here let's have a look there we've used this this normal is now baked onto that model and creating this smooth look which looks great Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. It doesn't always work quite like that though. Sometimes you have to use cage. I'll give you an example of that now. I'll load it up and um, I've got this little cup that I made as well. It's, it's um, in fact, I'll, let me just show you this cup. Okay, so here's another example. Um, really extreme. I've made this deliberately low poly. It's almost like a, a lot of the final one that you would use in game, but it's extremely low just so I can emphasize a point to you. And I've got a high, high detail version of this as well. This is what I want my cup to look like. Um, let me just turn off edges so you can see it. Okay, so I want my cup to look like this in the game. But I'm going to use this model to project the normal map onto. You can see it's extremely low. In fact, this is 68 triangles. I wouldn't use that. That's just way too low. Uh, I would increase that more. And you'll see why when we've done this. Uh, and this is clearly too high. It's 4,000 uh, triangles for a cup. That's going to look about, it's going to be that size in game. You know, you're not going to see. You're not going to get too close to it. So let's go and see what happens when I bake these in Substance Painter. Let's load it up. Cup low, open. Okay. Okay, so here's my cup. Very low. So let's go and bake down our maps. Bake mesh maps. Okay, don't know if I do, don't need that for now. I don't know why I keep doing that, it's just habit now. I can leave it on, doesn't really matter, it doesn't make any difference. Um, high definition, so we're bringing the high cup there. No we'll touch anything, just like before, and we'll bake it down. We forgot to add an ambient occlusion, but it doesn't matter, I'm just showing you a point here. Uh, and there it is, and you can see now, this hasn't worked. If you look closely, you can see it has it's got these gaps and curvy lines and bits of weirdness sticking out here, and it's just not good. And I'll demonstrate why that is. So if you go back to 3D Studio now, um, if we line these up together, so if we align so if we align uh, that with that one okay I'm getting close and have a look let's change color of the low one so you can see cup low okay let's make this there you go that is why it's not working because you can see it doesn't quite fill um, the model the model doesn't Fit neatly inside or around the high definition version and that's really got to happen and to combat that we can create what we call a cage and it just so happens I've done that and here's my cage and um, you can see if you look at this cage this encompasses the entire model it's completely inside it's probably a bit too extreme if anything but you know it will it will work it will use this to create the normal maps and project onto the low poly um, model more accurately create the normal maps let's just jump into substance and you'll see what I mean so if we go back into our bake mesh maps here click that um, down here you'll see cage file if you click on this I've created this already uh, cup cage that's the name of that file I just showed you uh, click open so it sits in there and make sure you use cage here tick and that's it that's all you have to do just 
baked materials and instantly you can see that's better it's not going to be great because the the low poly version is really really low but it's done a really it's done the best job it possibly can you know from a distance you can still see the edges that are quite angular um, but if that was higher detail, if the lowest one was a slightly higher uh, resolution, that would work really well. But you can see that's worked quite nicely. Even inside, look, you've got a nice rounded base there. You can, you know, the, you're not going to get rid of the edges, pretty, you know, but it's done a pretty good job to try and keep that, that smooth look. And it's given us this edge this ridge around the top. So that is how you use high resolution models to create your normal maps inside uh, Substance Painter. Now, it's not the end, you don't have to, you know, that's just the base. So now you can, you know, you can carry on. And uh, let me just see here, properties, put these at the bottom, I don't know why it's moved. Here's my material, let's turn these off my height here I can still paint on here to create more bump or push it in there's plenty of scope to do that still you know you'll just when you bake it down it's just the starting point and um, you know plenty of uh, scope to continue and there's plenty of scope to um, add more if you want to so, yeah, there you go. That is how you do it. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, put it in the comments below. And remember, if you want to learn more things like this, go to my course on Udemy. And um, if you use the link in the description below, you'll get it at a, at a discount. So um, go and check it out. And I'll see you over there or see you in the next video. Bye for now.